All right, folks, got a little project going on today. Uh, these are um, 12 volt LED indicator lights, uh, yellow in color. Uh, we're using them for our 12 volt circuit breakers and our 12 volt circuits on our electrical panel here. Um, we've got some old ones. These are probably 20 years old. They're old incandescent style uh, indicators, or a lot of them have failed at this point. So we're just going to go ahead and replace them all um, and convert the whole system over to LED. So that's today's project. So now. Stop. So I'm going to remove the screws that hold the panel in place. You know what the most entertaining thing is about what I'm doing right now? <laughs> this is a job <clears throat> that I said needed to be done the very first time I saw this boat, 10 years ago. I said, hey, that electrical panel needs to be rebuilt. That's what I said. <laughs> and nobody agreed. Yes. got an issue here. So these two tiny little tabs here. This is where the wires connect. Um, and what we've got here, these are slip-on connectors, but these are designed for much larger stakeons than these. And uh, yeah, so I've got to make a decision here about how to put these all together because this is kind of crazy. All right, so we're going to take a pause in this video. Well, I see about working some shit out real quick. Uh, still working on this project over here. Um, I had a couple of uh, worms pop out, which... It's a boat. Every time you do a project, there's always a can of worms. That's, that seems to be the other meaning of boat. So anyway, um, what I had here was I had uh, all of the output wires on, the, on this side of the circuit breakers. That's cool. I'm going down and all of the um, bus bars all the connecting copper bars that connect the circuit breakers were running down on this side and that was you know okay fine you know great issue is we got all these lights down the side and each one of these lights has to have a positive feed to it so the bar went here on this side and I had wires coming from here going under the bar and then coming down to here and some chafing and while I was back here, I, I have no idea what it was that made contact, but something made contact and it actually burned up um, a bunch of wire right here. This is some of it. Yeah, it happened really quick and it was because of stuff like the improper leading of that. So I'm moving everything over to the other side of the circuit breakers and basically switching everything around so that there is no crossing over this rigid sharp edged piece of copper you know there, there's no use in a piece of you know 14 gauge wire as a fuse because <laughs> that's a lot of amperage there so anyway that's gone so I'm making I'm also making up these shorter wires to go from the, the new output side down to the lights and um, I'm using tinned marine wire this is uh, uh, what is this uh, 12 yeah, I think it's 12 gauge. Might be 14, but it, you know, it's a short run. It's a low power. It's not a big deal. Uh, I am using crimp connectors 
but then I'm also soldering these joints just because of where they are and how lightweight and small everything is. I really don't think that I'm going to have much concern with uh, vibration breaking these loose over the trip. The other thing I'm doing is all the ground wires on these lights were all tied together in these big bundles and again dragged across and that's that's what that burned up wire was. So um, I'm replacing that. I'm doing a single ground run uh, down the line on all these lights with a quick solder in. If I got to replace a light, okay, fine. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. I got to get out the soldering iron and plug it in and touch it back here and touch it there and pull the light out. You know, it's, if anything, it's not any more difficult than this is. The existing replacements have all been done with stakeouts that are way too large. So, yeah, this is how I'm going about it. Anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Uh, this two, three hour job probably just turned into an eighter. So, bye bye. We need more there it is. One finished solder joint. And then I'll pre tin the other end of it a little bit. And I'm also pre tinning the ends of all the lights. Um, so that they're easier to go in and out as well. So. For this night is over, I will guide you. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. <laughs> it's a little bit easier because I just replaced a lot of this wire. Uh, so kind of a continuation of the, the ongoing rewiring of the engine from on the second summit. Task that should have been accomplished years ago. I'm finishing up the uh, final connections here on the board. Uh, these are all the LED lights chained together. This is the ground wire. It's nice and visible here. And then each one of these is the hot. And I've already tinned each positive post and the wires. Uh, so I'm just dabbing in here. Getting some heat into things and getting the solar joints together. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. All right, so right here, I don't know how well you can see this. This uh, exposed wire right here, right here. I'll try and indicate it with the tip of the tool. Right here, coming off. This is the ground wire for all these LEDs. And I'm gonna uh, cut it right about here and then solder another wire to it, an insulated wire, and bring it back and tie it into this ground uh, strip. This side's already got that, it's already tied in. Um, over here on this side, I'm doing the final three connections. Um, for the LEDs, uh, I've got the, uh, the negatives are all well soldered and good to go. I'm pinning the last two contacts. There we go. All right, and I've already pre-tinned the wires, so I'm just going to come in here. A little bit of heat in. Make sure everybody's nice and together. There we go. raging hot tip which is good for electronics because honestly the hotter your tip is for this the less heat you actually get into it you know you, you get a a good quick solder joint by having a real hot tip so you're not there 
long enough to put any heat into the parts. They're just, just enough to get your connections done. Oh, ah, what? Oh, man, this is tight.